All right, people, here is the deck profile for Aliens. So the last month we've been playing the Aliens, you guys voted on it, and I fucked it up. I apologize. I, I made it I made a pendulum, and you guys didn't like that. But Aliens are not great. They're still just an old 2007 shitty-ass deck. They got one new card, and I guess that was enough incentive to uh, make it so you guys wanted me to play it on Daily Duel. So I've been playing it since last month. I tried very different variants. I played Pyrrha. I tried Card Demise Cancer. I tried this, and this this version was my most successful. I mean, lo and behold, you throw in fucking Performer Pals and even Aliens, and you can make them really great. That's just how strong the Performer Pal engine is, right? But there's some synergy, you know, there's some semblance of synergy. So overall, it wasn't the greatest of decks, but it wasn't the worst either. And uh, I'd say my time with the deck over this past month wasn't bad. So of course, this deck is often at the same time you got to upload the deck replacement, which is Gimmick Puppets. So hopefully that goes well, crossing our fingers. Uh, and uh, that will be the deck that will be taking place on Monday for Daily Duels for the next month from the second half of August to the beginning half of September. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we are running three Alien Shock Trooper. You're probably wondering, why three Alien Shock Trooper? Because he's a 1900 beater, he's a normal monster, he's a reptile, he's all those things, and Rescue Rabbit. Like, that, that's pretty much, you know? Like, the Alien Monsters are still just kind of, eh, so to be able to just bust out this 1900 beater or, or do my Rescue Rabbit plays is nice, so... Yeah, he's one of the better aliens, despite just being a normal monster that's 1900. He's one of the better, better ones. He's good as a freaking uh, <laughs> a Gemini elf back from the original pack. Wow, aliens, you're really doing something nowadays, aren't you? Alright, we have one alien telepath. The only reason why I run one of him is because he's generally someone from the graveyard. He's someone through the graveyard through uh, Ammonite, and he's only as good as the counters on the field. Which is, if there's counters on the field, he's awesome, you know? Like, if I can just summon telepaths, special summon dog, put some counters on him, you know, a counter, pop a, a back row. Like, he pops back row. He moves a counter, pops back row. And he also has that alien 300 attack and defense effect. Like, I don't get why all of them don't have it. Like, I get why you don't have it because you're a normal monster, but why don't you have it? Why don't, you know, all the alien monsters, why don't you have it? Like, they should all say that. Then all, if a, if a monster with eight counters battles, and it loses 300 attack effect. And if it stacks, I mean, who fucking cares? It's aliens, right? But there's only a handful of them that say, that and if, I guess if you got one on the field spell, the field spell is fucking shitty, so it's just nah. So, yeah, the telepath is good, he's good. Just you, I really only need one, and especially if you're running like the slower version, with, like Call of the Hunter and the Phoenix Chain. You really only need one, just put some counters on your vine with Call of Hunter, Oasis, or your uh, M and I, and then remove a the counter, pop up back row. Simple as that, he's really good. Uh, all right, then we run three dog drew the crap out of dog and the last month that I played it, like you would, you would think I was running like fucking five dogs. You know, we run three dogs, uh, with a not um. Uh, alien you control is normal summon or something. You just special summon this card and uh, place two counters. So it's really good. You just normal summon, special summon, put some counters. Normal summon, special summon, put some counters. Uh, allows you to go into some more uh, think of plays that you really wouldn't be able to do if you didn't have it. And putting on some counters is sometimes useful. You know, it's useful for this, it's useful for this. So I'm not playing all the alien cards that are useful. There, there's a fact, a semblance of factor of uh, useful for this, of course. There's some semblance of, hey, there's a reason to uh, have some eight counters. So that's good. And then, of course, we run three Ammonite. This is the core of the deck. Um, this card is normal summon. You can special summon a level four or lower alien monster from your graveyard, start the interface, but you don't care because you're going to synchro summon with it. And uh, you can go ahead and synchro summon into your boss monster, which is one, this is one card, alien Ammonite plus a non-tuner alien monster with sync five. So it's just really easy. It's really great. And then if you have this, and a level f uh, you summon a level four, and then you have another level four, you can bust out this pretty little monster right here. And you already know, because there's no like restrictions. Like you can only summon alien monsters this turn or anything. It's just like, nope. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, so I know I'm not running too many aliens, only 10 alien monsters, right? So let's get to the shenanigans. Of course, one rescue rabbit to summon the alien shock trooper. Why not? If I'm gonna run shock trooper, I'm gonna run the rescue rabbit. And it worked out. You know, the number generator, it's like, here, rescue rabbit, cool. I can summon two monsters off the price of one, go into an XD play, or sometimes I do another particular play with this pretty little card, so. Run two summon monks because there is some spells in here. There's 13 spells, and sometimes I'd rather go ahead and get my play started. There'll be plenty of times where I'm like, oh man, uh, all I need is something to get the ball rolling with the pendulum plays. Like, there's strong summon monk, summon monk, pitch a spell, summon sorcerer, sorcerer, pop itself, pop the monk. That's two pops, get the two searches. Like, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. If the spell ratio is fine with the performer pal engine, I'll definitely summon summon one. And then the Performer Pal Engine, so Monkey Board, he should be banned. Obviously, the one card pendulum is too strong. Scholar called Crowbat Joker. Normal Summon gets that search. He should have stayed limited. Even though sometimes I don't want to Normal Summon him because I'd rather Normal Summon other things like Ammonite because it only gets the effect with Normal Summon. Not that I can Pendulum Summon it because it's level one. There's no Pendulum scale less than one, so. Uh, but 
Yeah, he's just at one. Uh, we run one Cobra because it's a lower scale that I can easily search for with King of Feral Imps, which actually has more to search for. Uh, uh, did I say King of Feral Imps? No, King of the Feral Imps. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. One is an awesome YouTube channel, and the other one is an awesome monster that searches for <laughs> reptile monsters. But no, uh, King of the Feral Imps, because not only can I search my alien monsters, because they're all reptile, that's cool, but I can also search for uh, Swing Cobra and Lizard Draw as well, so... He has even more use than he usually would. Uh, then, of course, we run three Sorcerer. He should be limited because he's ridiculous. Uh, you know, special summon, pop two, grab two, hit Pendulum Scale effect. To, uh, while you're pop monsters, get a thousand. That's great, too. There have been plenty of times where he's on Pendulum Scale. I'll summon this, and I'll go from 12 to 22. There's a huge difference between 1200 attack and 2200 attack, all right? But uh, <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely, he should get limited. This should be banned. This should stay at one. And then we'll just move on from the Performer Pal, uh, you know, uh, engine, really. It's more, it's more of an engine, if anything. It's not even an archetype. It's more of an engine. Uh, we move step away from it uh, for a while until we get to the point where we think it'll be power creep, or Konami thinks it'll be power creep to bring it back, but I don't see it, because Pendulum Mechanic is just ridiculous. Of course, we've done three Lizard Draw, because Lizard Draw is stupid, and uh, Guitar Turtle, because Guitar Turtle is stupid, because I can go Guitar Turtle, Lizard Draw, then get a draw, so Guitar Turtle, pop Lizard Draw, and get another draw. It's like, did you just pot a green? Like, yeah, yeah. And on the Pendulum Mechanic. And, and uh, you know how many times I freaking have Lizard Draw in the field and they attack another monster and Lizard Draw is like, hey, just, yeah, when a face-up monster is destroyed by battle with opponent's monster or by card effect while wow, this is on the field and I get to draw up to number four files, like, also, they'll kill one of my other monsters and now it's Lizard Draw and I get to draw like multiple cards. So stupid. So stupid. So, uh, there we go. We have 23 monsters, which is fine. Uh, we have one Regeki. Uh, I recently replaced this. This, this wasn't Regeki. It was actually that one continuous spell, but I don't run enough alien monsters to really pull that off. I apologize. And it's like, well, you can return back your hand because it's a continuous spell for this, but I have my pendulum scales. And that just shows more synergy that I can just summon this, return my pendulum scales, put on two counters, bam, you already got them two counters. And I can just replay my pendulum scales, you know? It's so simple. Especially, especially Monkey Board. Like, come on, man. Like, you guys, some of you guys were on me because you were guys like, I'm so sick and tired of seeing performer piles are so stupid. Stop playing performer piles in every single deck. But there's synergy! And when there's synergy, I mean, let's go! So, I mean, tell me that's not stupid. I can play Monkey Board, get a cert, summon my M and I, M and I, return turn put some eight counters on you and then return my monkey board back to my hand to play it again to get another search tell me that's not stupid daniel that's really stupid yep <laughs> i know i know but no the I, I was playing the, the continuous spell it was too slow because i don't have I, a i'm not running enough alien and it's not like i was really utilizing it. it's like oh every time you're one of your alien monsters destroyed you put one counter and this has two you provide from the graveyard and it's like i don't think i've really especially with how fast it did i don't think i've really had two of my alien monsters die a lot of cards on the field so i was like nah take it out regaki let's go no uh, I was I also like to have Regeki in my decks nowadays as a contingency to make sure that I don't duel in OCG because that will accidentally happen is that I'll be like searching for TCG but then YGO Pro doesn't filter and I'll end up in an OCG duel and I get hit with Harpy Feather Doctor and I'll freaking hang myself but that can't happen because I'm running two Sonar Monks and an OCG Sonar Monk is at one so but still Regeki I mean come on there's none. Twin Twisters I love Twin Twister Twin Twister is pretty much at three in almost every one of my decks so let's go um, then the new card, the new card, it's actually really great, like it's great for aliens, but it's still not enough to make them great. So, uh, it's a quick play spell, target a uh, face-up monster on the field, send an alien monster from Decorator by it, gains a uh, monster that, uh, that is targeted, gains eight counters equal to that monster's level, that's great, you know, so I can go ahead and play there, send a level four alien, gains that kind of, but then also, during the main phase, instead of the turn, this card was sent to the graveyard, but it's a quick play spell, so I can play it during my prone turn, get this effect on my turn, I can search for an alien, so, it pretty much is just a one card set up my uh, boss monster. I can play this, drop a level four, you get four eight counters. You know, drop like telepath, you get four eight counters. Then I play this during my main phase, search for Ammonite, Ammonite summon back telepath, remove a counter from you, pop one of your back row, go into my boss monster. You know, so it, it's really it's really that great. It's really that simple. So this card's really good. It's really good. It helps out aliens, but it's not gonna make them top tier shit. Definitely not. Uh, then we run three Mysterious Triangle. This card's really good. Uh, I destroy a monster in the field that has eight counters, and I can dispatch someone a level four alien monster from my deck. Like, that, that's totally fair. So, that's another play I could do right there. So, if this, if I have this card, like, come on. Like, I, literally just the same play that I, I just explained, right? I play this, I put some, I send this, put some eight counters on you. Next, during my next phase, main phase, search this. This will summon this. This will pop your back row. Then I play this, pop your monster, because I, I, you probably still have some more counters, so I move one to pop one in your back row. Use this, pop your monster, summon another, uh, summon a level four alien monster from my deck, i.e. the Shock Trooper. Oh wait, do I have a level one, a level four, and a level four on the field to sink into nine? Ah, damn, get traced. 
like th that's pretty, that's pretty pretty good. Pretty pretty good. So yeah, this definitely helps out. I mean, like I said, there's not too many eight counters things. It's mostly just this and this, but uh, and this, but. When you when you get the eight counters distributed, it's a nice card. And of course, I can just pitch it for seven months because I'm not ready to use it. Uh, we run three Pendulum Rising, which is also another stupid card. So I just traded in a level four monster for a level four Pendulum monster. You did not know how many times that I've just traded in like an alien monster to summon <laughs> sorcerer. It's so good, you know. So yeah, this card is ridiculously good. Like you could you, even if this gets limited to one and this gets banned, you could still have shenanigans like this, this, one of this, three of this, one of this, and then some other perform pack cards with just Rising because you just Summon this and plus, you know, but at least you can't have sorcerer on your pendant scale and put in sorcerer in your extra deck and multiple sorcerers, so sorcerer definitely be limited. Uh, then, of course, the Song Brigade, the one warning and the three strikes. All right, extra deck. We run two of our alien boss monster. You could probably run three, but I never run in three. I think I only wanted two. Uh, you know, I'm not running the Call of Hunted or the Phoenix Chain, so I guess that's your argument for why I could run more than two, but yeah. Then we run. Uh, hot. I mean, scar right because we can sometimes go into eight or seven because we sometimes can go into seven. Like it's there's situations where everything pops up, so I want you know, to make sure that everything is all is there. Black rose. Uh, then we mostly go into fives. Like it's just this plus this, and then there's a five so catastrophe because if I battle with his own dark pop and then Armadius because he's the OG freaking Utopia lighting Armadius effect, right? Trish because I can do it. Uh, Core Dragon, he's my six just in case, and uh, the old entity. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because you can actually do it. So, when I go this, I'm in this, go into this, uh, and then if this is card used as a rank 4 monster, which it might be, especially with the pendant mechanic, I get to draw a card. So, that, that's not terrible. You know, It's like a monster to, to go into a monster to go into a monster, and then even out with resources. So, yeah. Uh, then we run Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, because like I said, we have some force, so we can do some fortune again. Game of Thrones searches a lot in this deck. Oh, yeah, Castell. Want to go to one Dark Rebellion. Uh, this should probably replace with the Dweller, but yeah. And then because we have some threes, uh, go to the three is of course uh, Brick Sword. So there you go. All right, people. There is the deck profile. I apologize that I I did this to this deck, but I can say there's synergies. It was fun. Uh, there's some plays. So if you guys want to go ahead and take it and play it with your own, then more power to you. Or you can just be like, "Fuck that, Daniel. I'm not playing fucking shit that performance piles in every single fucking deck because that's what you've been doing lately. He's playing in every single fucking deck. But when it works, it works. And uh, uh, this month's on Daily Duels. I don't think I'm going to be doing any performance piles. So at least you can you know have a sigh of relief on that. But uh. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Of course, uh, I believe that no deck returned from the previous month, rip. So, you'll be getting deck profiles all through this month, double daily duels. So, of course, if you haven't seen me play with gimmick puppets, be sure to. It's also up. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Deck profile for normal pendulums. And I believe... What am I dueling with? I believe it's Despot Necklord? Like, okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Alright, people. Thanks for watching.